Dana Brooke, the 24-7 champion, looking confident tonight. She's been doing a lot of talking. From behind! But apparently not enough watching her back. I'm getting word we have a situation backstage, and it, it looks like now we have a brawl on our hands. Yeah. Rights and lefts, elbows, knees, all of them lethal. Boom! Kicks to the face, capped off with a big one. Pow! Penny predicament, and only a one count. Running knee lift. Shoulder tackle. Down with the gore buster. Ooh, round and round we go. Tilt the world head scissors. Utilizing a little Penchak Salat. Turn out the lights. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Oh no, look out guys, broken in half. Shoulders down, championship on the line. And she kicks out. Here's a combo of strikes. Knee right to the face. She's headed right up the ladder. Finished her climb, but what happens now? And up and up she goes. Well, she made it. Now what? Climbing up that service ladder, but I don't think there's any good reason for it. She's got something nuts on her mind here. Counters! Oh, man, by the hair! Oh. Hair whip! And with everything we've heard coming into this altercation, we knew this was going to just be ugly and nasty. And I really am not liking what I'm seeing. Things have gotten ugly, but it can still get even worse. Brought down with the Bulldog. For the title. And there's the kick out. Ooh, look at her answering back. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Oh! Into the lung blower! And I don't know what's going through these superstars' mind. Aren't they aware of the dangers up there? I think they're blinded by adrenaline at this point, Michael. Man, strikes! Wow! Oh, turn. Now a pin for the championship. One, two, three. And just like that, there's a new 24-7 champion. And a new superstar who's got to sleep with one eye open. Yeah, there's nothing like holding that title. You never get a moment to relax. Speak of the devil. And Dana Brooke might not be giving up either. The new champ better find a good hiding spot while she catches her breath.
It's a second generation superstar who's here to write her own story. Hey, Corey, remember when I pinned you for this title? Shut up, Saxton. Four women in an all-out falls count anywhere match with a 24-7 title on the line tonight. In a chaotic match like this, I keep an eye on Katana Chance. Her quickness could be a real asset here. Come on, Saxton. There's a reason she didn't walk in here with the title and a reason she's not walking out with it either. I'm betting on the champ to retain. Setting foot in the ring now, and that definitely made solid impact. You have solidified your name as a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move. And that was an efficient four. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. And there's a kick out at one. You don't get paid by the hour, so nothing wrong with trying to wrap things up. A well aimed strike. Oh, look at these kicks. Knee right to the face. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. She can still turn it around by taking this fight wherever she wants to. Tilt the win. Here's a pin for the title. That could have been it right there. Ooh. Boom. Head kick. She's into the ring again. Oh, punishing. There's press. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Vicious running knee lift. Oh, stiff uppercut. Oh, what a kick. Ooh. Left by the turn. That was an effective attack, guys. A torturous knee. Ace first with a waistlock takedown. The challenger eating up some damage. Taking down of the man. Oh, strong impact. Off the ropes. Wow. Getting tossed.
Setting it up. Thunderous clothesline to retain the title. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. It's not over yet. Chance doing a little more showboating than working right now. She's got to stay in this one. She's got big plans. to the two count. Yeah. 
two fly out. And the attacks up there must be taking their toll. Her vision's got to be seeing some dark spots at this point. Eat the feet. So now offense landing on the champ. This deep into a fatal four-way match. It's a wonder they're not more banged up. But the grueling nature of this match is definitely getting to them now, gentlemen. Forced out of the ring. Roxanne Perez. the ring it seems and she doesn't connect getting back into the ring and no count outs means she has the whole outside to play with she has no idea where she is right now a kendo stick wrapped around her head oh every successive move is putting their opponent in a dicey situation she got launched she's trying one more time DDT Land. the champ's eyes were glazed over and it looks like she wants to take this match outside. Look out! Suicide dive! That is the attitude. The champ's shoulders are down.
I'm sure you're disappointed with that loss, but this is probably for the best. That's what you told me after John Buckley asked Jackie Ollier to prom instead of me. And I was right then, too. That John Buckley was bad news. He's an anesthesiologist now with a massive house outside of San Diego. And who wants to live there? Look, just like back then, this frees you up to focus and get to the level we both know you're capable of reaching. Yes, yes, I know. So no more 24-7? Fine. For now. You'll thank me later. So I've been thinking about how to handle my cash in for a tag team championship match. Again with this my thing. We both won the Money in the Bank ladder match, and we should both get a say in how to cash it in. What? Are we supposed to decide by committee? Hold a vote or something? <laughs> that sounds fair. How's that gonna play out? I vote for my way and you vote for yours? Besides. Holding the money in the bank briefcase isn't just about being skilled in the ring. It's about being sneaky, too. Leveraging the briefcase to cash in when your opponents are off their game. I don't think you have that in you. When I was down on main event, you couldn't even take advantage of that opportunity. I can be sneaky. No, I can see it now. You walk up to the champs, politely tap them on the shoulders, and respectfully challenge them to a match. You're too much of a good girl, LJ. You need to be willing to play dirty. That's not the way I want to win my matches. Well, then you shouldn't have won the Money in the Bank match, because that's how the briefcase works. You're proving my point. I said I didn't want to win that way. Not that I couldn't. Then prove it. Take someone out when they don't expect it. Then, you and I can negotiate how we cash in the briefcase. Fine! I'll do it. Not that I have anything to prove. That's not Lacey's music, and that's not Lacey Evans. This isn't the scheduled match. Does anyone know what the issue is between these two superstars? Who knows, but the referee is turning this into a match. It's official. Shotzi's scheduled match against Lacey Evans has been replaced by a match against the insurgent rookie. Apparently, one half of the briefcase holding pair already has a little more swagger in her step after that thrilling tag team Money in the Bank victory. And let me tell you, I'm digging it. Netbox suplex! Well, grabbing the arms and just rapid stops. That is attacking with malicious intent. You want to control the tempo, you want to dictate the pace. That right there is how you do it. Brutal stomp to the body, and just getting started. Look at this brutality. This is how you torture your opponent. Oh my God, this is hard to watch. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. Way to steer clear. 
seeing an answer for every move attempted. I got right to the gut. I don't know if Shotzi can withstand much more of this. Destructive amount of work being done to Shotzi right now. to the lower back, clutching the wrist. Just absolutely punishing their opponent here, relentlessly. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. Both wrists captured and coming a knee to the face. This match may be nearing its limit. Not what you want to see by any means. This is a crushing amount of offense, showing a lot of fury with her attacks. Oh, she hit the corner hard. Nowhere to go, being victimized by those Muay Thai knee strikes. Face wash. Happy now? See, I can be surprising. I don't have to always play by the book. The apology on social media after the fact really drove home how much of a threat you are. I just wanted her to know I didn't have anything against her. I did what you asked, so let's figure out this cash in. Fine. I've got to head out now, but get your lame thoughts in order, and we'll talk about it next week. Ugh, you're the worst.
Get ready for one of WWE's most eye-popping it. The Red Hot rivalry between Shotzi and her opponent is about to get the temperature turned up another notch here on SmackDown. These two have already thrown the rule book out of the window, so what better way to settle things than a... Look at this! Oh, just completely off target there! Now, that was a harebrained idea to try that. Was trying to find a way to attack, but completely wiped out. Oh, boy, she found a kendo stick. This match might just get hard to watch. What impact! And no countouts means she has the whole outside to play with. Baseball bat. I know that'll bruise the hell out of you. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. No stick impact. Oh! Oh! Just one right after the other can't be stopped. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Boom! <laughs> Any one of these attacks could cause irreparable damage, but I don't think you can cut back from this many. This is getting scary now. No one can survive this much. And things are just going from bad to worse. Whip back into the ring. Just a continuous rush on Shotzi here. Yeah, Shotzi finding herself on the wrong end of every exchange. Into the ring now. Taking it to the floor. What's she gonna do? Shotzi with the retaliation. Heads out of the ring. What's next? Shotzi might be able to start mounting something here. Maybe Shotzi's found a new source of aggression to battle back with. Oh my god! Gut first into the barricade! Dangerous intentions in her mind right now. She goes back inside the ropes. Shotzi oozing confidence, but she needs to be staying on her opponent here. She's taking this outside. This one cannot be lost by countout. She isn't allowing that burst of attacks to put an end to her. All right, that's it. Oh, man. Shotzi isn't being given any room to recover. Destructive amount of work being done to Shotzi right now. All right, back to it. Returning to the ring. Into the corner now. She's fighting back. But she still has to do more to get this fully in her favor. We're seeing the same aggression here that we saw during that pre-match attack last week. It's Raquel Rodriguez. Apparently she's not a fan of how Shotzi was used to prove a point. Raquel and Shotzi haven't always seen eye to eye, but these two came up together in NXT. I guess that counts for something. Either that or she just wanted in on the fun of this no DQ match. All this is perfectly legal. And so was that. Ava Marino from behind. This team may not have cashed it in yet, but that briefcase is proving to be pretty handy. Shotzi with a roll up. Ava slides the briefcase in, and she nails Shotzi. Looking to capitalize. I guess the briefcase did turn out to be the determining factor in this match. And for teamwork, too. Something that we haven't seen yet from this pairing. They may not have chosen each other initially, but maybe this tag team does have what it takes to make good on the promise of that Money in the Bank briefcase.
That was unexpected. You defending me in the ring? Certainly was. I was talking about Raquel. We're tag team partners. It's not like I don't like you. You have literally told me before that you don't like me, Ava. Fair point. But I didn't know you. You were just some new girl coming in to take my spot. I wasn't trying to take anyone's spot. I was trying to start my career. Sure. But your journey to WWE was very different than mine. You started with the WWE legend in the family. Your support system was in the business already. You even knew some of the crew. I had none of that. Things have always been harder for me, and it was difficult seeing you get an opportunity right off the bat. <laughs> Did it help that I crashed and burned in my debut? <laughs> it certainly did not hurt. I can't control what family I was born into any more than you can. We're bound to have different perspectives and experiences. You're right. Probably explains why I find some of the stuff you do so annoying. You know, besides just the fact that you're the entitled niece of a legend. <laughs> you're just kind of mean generally, huh? See? Now we're really getting to know each other. Which is actually a good thing if we're going to work together on this cash-in. Let's finally have that talk and figure out how we're going to do it. Speaking of... Ava, where's the briefcase? I thought you had it. No, I don't. You don't know where it is? I... do not. Well, this is not great. We need you to go to Shotzi and Raquel and tell them to give our briefcase back. They're not listening to us. Hate to say it, guys, but WWE briefcase law has always been pretty vague. I'm not sure if possession is nine-tenths of the law, but it's certainly a fractional value of some sort. But they stole it from us! Stole it! Ava, I'd expect you of all people to understand a bit of deviousness, but both of you save your breath. A decision has already been made. WWE management has decreed that you'll face them for the briefcase in a match next week. That's not fair, Molly. Didn't say it was, but that's what's happening. Then we're going to use everything at our disposal to make sure they never try anything like this ever again. No longer in someone else's shadow, this wrestler has a bright future. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first from Raleigh, North Carolina. They don't come tougher than this wrestler. It's Ava Moreno and her partner from the Bronx, New York. Ava Moreno! Big, bad, and red! 
ready to brawl. And from Rio Grande. Shocking turn of events. Ava Moreno and her partner's Money in the Bank briefcase is back up in the air tonight against Shotzi and Raquel Rodriguez. Well, it's not technically in the air because its new owners, Shotzi and Raquel, have refused to disclose its whereabouts. Although I guess it, it could be in the air somewhere. Thanks, Saxton. You should have been a detective. You gotta wonder if there's more animosity in this match than we previously thought. She adjusts it and reverses it. Elbow drop to the heart. She's beginning to flag a little. Where well, we knew going into this match that it would be physical, Michael, and I'm sure she will tag out when the time is right. And finds a counter. Here's the torture rack. Racked up. Not finished yet. Looking for an early pin. And she kicks out. Early one count, just to wear her down a bit. Is the only thing keeping her upright. And we just saw some serious offense. Able to tag her partner. Knee right to the face. Shotzi ducks. Nails a discus forearm. This could be the moment that officially puts the briefcase in the hands of Shotzi and Raquel. What's Shotzi doing? It's the stolen Money in the Bank briefcase. It said it was in a safe place. I guess the safe place was under the ring, Byron. The original briefcase winner counters. She's the one who's taking advantage of the referee distraction now. This match is over. Well, it's over, but that's probably not the ending Shotzi and Raquel had in mind. And the ownership of the Money in the Bank briefcase is officially returned to the original winners. Hopefully now they can put this behind them and officially set their sights on cashing in for the Tag Team Championships. At the very least, I bet they'll keep better track of the briefcase from now on. Okay, that was fun. And look how far you've come. Didn't even hesitate to use that briefcase against her. Not like that so-called honorable choice you made when you faced me. I still don't like it, but I see your point. Fighting dirty is necessary sometimes. That's my girl. Knew there was a little rebel in you, LJ. And now that's settled, we still need to decide how we're cashing in our briefcase. Our? Nice. And it's about time we finally have this conversation. But who gets to decide how we do it? You want to face me in the ring again? Whoever wins gets to call the shots. I'm ready. Nah, not when I'm starting to think you might not be the worst person ever. Generous. <laughs> Let's take out our aggression on other people who are arguably worse than you. A beat the clock challenge. One of us takes Raquel, one of us takes Shotzi. Whoever wins faster gets to decide how we cash in. Huh. I love it. I'll face Raquel. Then I'll take Shotzi. Best of luck, partner.
It's the superstar who's driven to live up to all the hype. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring from Raleigh, North Carolina. Big, bad, and ready to brawl. After reacquiring their stolen briefcase in a tag team match, Ava Moreno's partner is now facing Raquel Rodriguez one-on-one. -on -one. Well, earlier tonight, Ava took on Shotzi. Maybe they wanted to teach Raquel and Shotzi individual lessons about stealing? It feels like something other than morality is at play here, especially since these teammates have decided to turn this into a beat-the-clock challenge. And Ava set a tough time to beat at 3 minutes and 47 seconds. She returns the favor there. Caught with the lariat. No way. A slingshot cross! That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their own well-being. Oh, man. Oh, what a kick. Both wrists captured. And, and Raquel's resolve might be wavering here. You got to wonder, what does this do to Raquel's confidence? Oh, heinous knee to the face. Coming back in the ring. SmackDown is live here tonight, over 20 years on the air, and it's been home to some of the very best ever to step foot in the squared circle. Some of the greatest of all time. Wow, well, the last second beat the count out. Knee right to the face. Running knee lift. And will this be it? Pushes through. She is still fighting, still keeping this going. And she still fails to extend any resistance here. Yeah, she's on the bad end of every maneuver. Earth-shaking power slam. A little cockiness here. Oh, forget about pandering to the WWE Universe. That should keep her head in the game. And she fights it off. She's taking a beating here. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. Oh, close line. That's got to be it. Two. Kick out. Kick out. He kicked out. And you believe it? Can you believe she powered out? Catches the kick. Set up in the corner of the ring. Of our shots there in the corner. Now looking to raise the stakes. Head up. Whoa! Corkscrew center. Able to reverse. Grabs a hold of Rodriguez. Suspense. This one was about as lopsided as they come. A deal's a deal. You beat my time of 347. Whenever you want to make a move with the briefcase for the tag team championships, let me know. The decision is yours. And I'll use it wisely.
A deal's a deal. You beat my time of 347. Whenever you want to make a move with the briefcase for the Tag Team Championships, let me know. The decision is yours. And I'll use it wisely.